Good evening, everybody. This is Vault 74 Nova Reclaimed. We still reclaiming. And we got Oscar, and he's saying something too. <laughs> he's saying, get that Nova done. We got the heater going in here. I do have my heater hooked up on a remote control switch with my fire hazard I got hanging here. And that turns my kerosene heater off with a remote control so I could do that from in the house or just use the control here. But what I was speaking about earlier in my video was about carbon monoxide poisoning. And uh, didn't realize how serious it is. I hope that's all that happened to me. I, I'm hoping that that was the reason for the seizure, but still seizure's not good either. We may have to check into that. Um, but this is a little update about my window installation. <coughs> my guy's supposed to be here in a little bit. What I've been working on today was getting the track ready and um, or the window, the sill for the rear window. So what I done was took it all down to bare metal up in here and went and put automobile primer on it because after that trim is on, it's gonna be so hard. So what I'm gonna do is mask it out and then paint it. Because I mean, this, like I said, it's not a show car. This is just gonna be a cruiser. And uh, it's just good to be back on the road with it. And uh, I mainly want the main purpose of that rear window, which is safety. And at the same time, I want a good seal. So he's gonna use the urethane and it should cover all the little imperfections and such. I added a little bit of JB Weld right up in here in some little low areas I had. I might be able to do some sanding down on it, but otherwise I left this surface clean down to bare metal because if I'm not mistaken, he has a chemical uh, or a primer that he puts on it to prep the surface. I'd like to get that up more because it's just for the fact of the rust color, but it's pretty solid. For what it is and i took a lot of it down so the surface right here is where the window will mount on the bottom and right here i have a little fiberglass patch and worst case scenario i might have to sand that down before he does the install i'll have to ask him about that when he gets here and uh just depending on circumstances time and uh everything i might try to get a couple of short pictures during the uh, installation process so you can get an idea of how he goes about setting that window in. It's not a heavy window really, but if you look, the window glass has a sheet of safety film in between it. And that's what holds the glass together if it happens to shatter. It helps to hold the glass together. And uh, it's not heavy itself, but it is awkward when it sets up in here. If it slides down just a little bit, the window could fall in through the top and could damage it and that window was four hundred dollars so it's not worth damaging that um, but yeah like I said I took everything down to bare metal right up in here you can see that because it was starting surface rust and I thought well let me get that before the window trim is in and such and I also got uh put some JB weld up here on this um, it was a lead the lead work that they use so it needs to be sanded down and smoothed out, but I just wanted to reinforce it before he got his part done. Anyway, my battery's showing 15%. My catch, I don't know what he's trying to tell me. Just that he wants some attention. And uh, otherwise, everything's good. I'm feeling okay. I'm just slowing down a little bit, a little bit at a time. I'll, I'll take breaks in between if I start feeling dizzy or a little bit weak. Go back in the house and just take it easy a little bit. I uh, didn't realize how stuff can come on so quick. I told my wife, I said it could be from where I stare out the garage door at the car. Knowing what I got to do and everything to get it done and it's anxiety. And then also the mess that surrounds the car that I've neglected for so long. That is totally unsafe to have. Uh, like I said, it's just maybe it's a combination of things stress anxiety frustration <laughs> and a mess <laughs> but anyway y'all until later until i get another update as far as 
I get an update for y'all on the glass installation, then I'll be back in touch. Until then, we're going to turn this carbon monoxide thrower out, and uh, we're going to let it warm up at least to 64, 65 degrees. <coughs> so until later, y'all, you have a good night, and I hope to be out here soon showing you what the progress looks like. Y'all take care.